Hey guys, welcome back to Fly Chick TV. I know you guys haven't seen my face in a while. Um, honestly, I don't even know how I feel sitting behind this camera because <laughs> I wasn't even planning on actually filming anything. <laughs> but it's 2024 and I said, you know what? Why am I not posting? I'll get into that in the jiffy. But anyway, welcome to Fly Chick TV. We are here. I wanted to be transparent and kind of just do a get ready with me. Y'all know I love my get ready with me. Mind you, I'm home, so we're not going anywhere. We're just getting ready to be on YouTube. But today's video is basically going to be an update on why I, I've been gone for two months. Going on three, pretty much, because when y'all get this video, it'll probably be like February. I don't know. Whenever I'm ready to post this video, y'all will get it. But um, yeah, let's get into the video today. I'm going to do a soft glam. No lashes, just a natural face. For some reason these days, I don't really care to do the most. You know how back in 2016, beat your face with all that? I, I'm tired of that shit. Excuse my language. I'm tired of that stuff. So it's my foundation for one is Mario. I've had this foundation for about a year now. It gets the job done and it eats on camera. All right, you guys, let's get into the video. So I have done my brows, as y'all can see. I don't know why I say as y'all can see all the time. Gosh, I need to change my word. But I've done my skin prep. I went in with my Dove Beauty Cream. It's just a regular lotion primer. So we are pretty much done with our base. Everything looks good. Please disregard the loud music, which you guys can't honestly hear, actually hear, but you can kind of hear it while I'm talking. I do apologize for that, you guys, but your girl gotta do what she gotta do. Hands, why I've been MIA. And honestly, I've been MIA because I've been working on some stuff, you guys. It's not like I don't wanna post or be consistent with my channel. I just needed some time to reevaluate some things. And I think in the last Get Ready With Me, just around this time last year, not that I was changing some of my content and all that stuff. So originally, my channel, as you guys know, if you are new to my channel, it's lifestyle, beauty, travel, and um, just everyday stuff. And honestly, it got to a point where I felt like I was just posting the same thing over and over and over and over. So recently, when I had traveled a couple times, I had decided that I was going to just go ahead and make my channel become a travel channel. But mind you, y'all know how the economy is right now, so traveling... It's in the plans, but I don't travel frequently like some of these influencers and some of these people who travel a lot. So I felt like my channel had got stagnant and I was like, you know what? I'm going to post when I'm ready. I just didn't, I wasn't in the space where I felt comfortable to keep consistently posting because I was, let me breathe, relax. <laughs> I talk real fast, y'all. So I just felt like I was not comfortable posting too much of my life. I already posted enough going out of town, showing my family, and I just felt like certain things should not be posted, like my relationship status, what I got going on in my personal, personal life. I just feel like certain things you keep to yourself and that keeps you private and that keeps you sane. Putting too much on the internet is not worth it. So that was one of the reasons why I kind of just put things at bay. And honestly, I'm not the type of person to share my business on social media. I just never been the type to do that. If there's a situation and I have to address something, that's different. But right now in my life, I want peace. And that is what I'm focused on, is peace of mind. So honestly, like me not posting is any is not anything against my channel or anything against anybody who watches my channel. I just felt like I needed to reevaluate some things and come back happier come back in a better mood because I felt like I was just posting and posting and posting and mind you editing is not easy editing is very much hard and it's not an easy thing to be a content creator if you love what you do you're going to be your hardest critic and that's what I realized I was doing I was putting too much on myself so I had to fall back and get my things in order but honestly I don't really know when this video is going to post but I'm just being transparent I'm being honest, I'm being real, because I feel like a lot of people who watch me 
always wonder why I go I go hard for like a couple months or I go hard for a year stop posting life is hard let's be real it's, it's been life and okay I ain't got to get into too much details but y'all know this economy is horrible things are expensive traveling is expensive everyday life is expensive so it's not like I don't want to post for you guys and be excited but I also don't want to post the same thing every day for example going to the mall going to the store guarding groceries like that shit gets old and I know a lot of people are like what the fuck like in general people don't want to just see you going to the damn store every day like you ain't got nothing else to do you Bob you feel me so that's why I don't post as much as I used to when I first got back on YouTube in 20 when did I start to get back on 29 not even 20 2020 is when I officially started taking it serious so it's not like I don't want to post for you guys, but I'm not the type to want to post anything that's not exciting, not fun. And it, it doesn't always have to be fun, but at the end of the day, I just feel like if you want to post good content, you got to have good content to post, okay? And I'm not the type of content creator that's just going to post just anything and be like, oh, I posted a video. That's laziness. That's not showing your creativity. And I'm just not going to do that. So... If y'all don't get videos back to back all the time, that does not mean I don't want to post for you guys. That does not mean I don't want to post or I just said that twice. That just doesn't mean I want to not post. It's just I'd rather post something that's going to keep you guys engaged. And that's just the truth. Engagement is important on social media. So if you ain't got engagement content, what you posting for? Yes, TikTok, you can post whatever you're doing. You can post something funny. But YouTube is a whole different ballgame. You got to have that good content. And I refuse to just be posting random ass, non-making sense videos. Videos that don't have no, nothing that's important. So that's just the real. And I'm not going to sit here and fake the funk like I don't want to post. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to post horrible content. I'm not going to post anything that I don't feel comfortable posting. Because that's just what it is. And that's why you guys have not been seeing me for these past two months. I just felt like if I'm going to post something, it got to be something purposeful, intentional, and have some depth to it. And that's just how I feel. So we're going to get into this video. We already end the video, but I have another. Um, I have some other topics I want to talk about. But while I'm talking, I'm going to just go ahead and do my makeup. So like I said, I'm the type of person I don't want to be posting stuff that just don't make sense to me i'm the type i'm gonna post what i feel i'm ready to post i've realized a lot of creators post good things not all the time some people be faking their lifestyle that's there but i just personally feel like i'm not gonna post nothing i'm not happy about if i don't want to post i'm not gonna post if i don't feel like posting you're not gonna get a video i'm not gonna force myself to post stuff and fake funk like i'm over here geeked up to post no life has been happening for me and at the end of the day my life comes first before all this before social media before being a content creator life is what you need life is gonna like you but you ain't gonna let that stop you from what you're doing don't get me wrong i had gotten discouraged like maybe i shouldn't post on youtube but i've been doing pretty well for myself so i'm definitely not giving up on my channel it's just that i just want to get to a point where i'm comfortable in my situation to post frequently and have the time to post. I've been hustling y'all and I have a big announcement at the end of this video so don't stop watching the video. Watch until the end. All right y'all so I'm about to start my makeup. Um, basically I did my brows so now I can kind of just basically do my face because I ain't really doing too much. It ain't gonna be a crazy beat. But yeah, let's talk about the economy, boy, because baby, that economy, this inflation that the world got going on is wild. First of all, why is, I went to Kroger just recently, just a couple weeks ago, and I was like, I'm going to go get a bag of chips. Mind you, I shouldn't be eating chips, but I was eating it anyway. Um, so basically, excuse the noise. So basically, um... I went to go get a bag of chips and then I looked at the price. The chips was costing, y'all wanna know how much a bag of chips, just a, a regular size, medium bag of chips cost? Six dollars. I said, oh yeah, them chips can wait. It's crazy how inflation is really killing us right now. Like everything is expensive. I went to the grocery store to buy like five items or I think it was like six things at Kroger's. 
I spent a hundred dollars kid you not like why is that even a thing why is that even happening why is that even what is going on Biden it's like the president I don't know what he doing I don't know what he doing at that White House but I ain't seen nothing he done did this year you ain't getting my vote I'm sorry you are not getting my vote because I don't see what you've been doing I don't see what's new I don't see any new jobs people been struggling to find work including myself like I'm still working y'all but it's like getting the pay that you deserve is literally non-existent don't nobody want to pay you don't nobody want to really be like it's just a mess honestly I would love to move back to my home country because this is bull crap honestly if I could move tomorrow with a million dollars in my bank account you would never see me in America I'm telling you never I've been here all my life and I'm still just like this is America like what is going on we're in the worst predicament of 2023 I mean of 2024 everything is expensive everything is literally expensive and it's sad it's really sad like it is really sad how expensive everything is right now everything is literally so expensive and it's sad like I don't even know how many times I just said sad but it's really sad like people can't even afford their mortgage people can't even afford just going out to eat anymore like it's like you struggling just to do everyday stuff that you should be able to do and it's so it's really messed up like America is really messed up and I'll be telling my friends overseas like y'all be thinking America just so sweet and jobs is available nah jobs are not even available no more you gotta be working at a firm or a company for like six years before they promote you to give you twenty dollars an hour like come on the system is so messed up right now it's really sad how messed up the economy is let me use some of this spray to get my face um some moisture it's really sad how the economy is like i'm getting my brushes you guys But yeah y'all like it's really messed up right now it's really really i don't like this brush i don't even know i just use this since i already started using it but i really don't like how the economy is going it's very much giving great depression part two because ain't nothing everything is expensive everything is expensive food clothes literally food alone has just tripped quadrupled in the last year going grocery shopping is so painful because you're gonna spend over two hundred dollars on like five pieces of things and it's like damn am i gonna be able to eat but yeah you guys like i said it's very unfortunate how the economy is really bad and i don't know what plans that joe biden has for us but he need to get it together baby because we ain't we really out here struggling it's bad everybody is struggling i'm not just speaking on myself i think everybody can attest and say that the economy has been being a but because I ain't the only one feeling that at all so yeah but you guys I just kind of wanted to update y'all on why I've been MIA I know I go back and forth and come back I don't really honestly let's be real if you love what I do you gonna watch me if you don't care about it I don't care about you <clears throat> let's be real because I'm gonna post what I want to post and I'm a post what makes me happy. Cause at the end of this is my channel. This is my life that I'm documenting to the world and to my future kids that they can see their mama on TV. Even if I'm not on actual TV, you feel me? Okay, period. All right, y'all. So let me do some foundation and then we're pretty much done for real, for real. I ain't really much to do. So I'm just kind of re-blending everything. Cause it needs to be blended. See, I did a quick beat and I didn't even use foundation. Isn't that wild? All right, we're just gonna use a little bit of foundation up here on the sides and then I gotta do my blush. We're just gonna take a little bit of foundation cause I'm gonna be home y'all. So I'm not really going anywhere in particular. So where's my foundation brush? Okay, where 
we're just putting in some foundation and then I'm gonna put some blush on in a second. All right, so we're actually gonna use, what is this? Oh, it's like a lip gloss, but we're gonna use it for blush. I don't even think you could use this for blush, but we gonna, we gonna try something new. We're going to use that for blush, even though I don't see anything it did. But we're going to actually use this on putty blush. I'm going to use some setting spray because it should be like be dry. It's like putty blush is dry. Alright, so we just put some on here. I'm going to. I put some spray on here so it could come out because I don't know. It'll be dry when you put it on. You see how I just added? A little bit of blush to my face and then I'll add some powder to kind of give me a to add a little bit more blush I'm gonna go in with this to do my little blush and then I'm using this red to kind of like get my blush to set Usually when I put blush on and it's liquid, I use another blush to kind of make it pop. Y'all see it's pretty. It's not like too much. The basically topic of discussion is why I've been MIA. I plan to post a little bit more, but if I don't post frequently, do not get upset. Don't think I'm just inconsistent. It's just a matter of I want to post the best content that I can post so that you guys are excited about what I post. You guys can engage with my posting. It's not like I'm trying to not post for y'all. It's just I want to have good content. And that's really what it is. I don't want to just post anything and be like, oh, here you go. I don't want to post sloppy content. So that's why you guys haven't seen me as much because... Against y'all, y'all ain't did nothing. It's just me wanting to post great content. And unfortunately, where I'm at right now in my life, I just feel like my resources are very limited to posting great content, but I will still do my best. Um, so yeah, you guys, I love y'all very much. I love doing content. It's something that I've always loved to do. I've always loved being on camera and just being myself. I don't come on here fake with nobody. I don't come on here to be something that I'm not. And that's why I'm always keeping it a buck with y'all because I'm like, shit, y'all on this journey with me. So at the end of the day, to all my subscribers who have subscribed and stay consistent with my channel, I really appreciate the love and support. I really, really do. And it's like I said, um, it's no bad blood over here. I just want to post good stuff. I just want to post really good things for you guys. So like I said, um, I love y'all. I love what I do. And it's just a matter of me just being real like I don't want to come on here being fake I'm telling y'all what's up like it's I just don't feel comfortable posting the same thing all the time so that's why I haven't been posting oh damn y'all I done forgot all about my powder see I'm talking too much lip time y'all know what it is Forever Remedy by Ari. Matter of fact, I'm finna do this first. I'm gonna use my Mario by Mario lipstick in the color Rasa first. Yes, it's giving, okay. All right, you guys, I love y'all. And let's get into this announcement. Matter of fact, let me get cuter. Put some earrings on, put some lashes on, and then I will get back to you guys, and then I will talk to you guys about. All right, you guys, so it is official. Your girl is a business owner in 2024. Your girl is a CEO now. So yes, be on the lookout for Fly Guy Essentials, where we take care of men's hygiene, men's beard care, men care products. Yes, I am starting a business it's already started inventory is on the way so you guys 
go and follow my business page at the brand fly cg that is where you can get all updates on fly guy essentials which i will be launching very soon and like i said it is a beard care maintenance maintenance care line products that enhance your beard products that keep your beard polished and nice and smooth and moisturized it doesn't necessarily grow your beard but it keeps your beard in good shape it doesn't keep it nappy it doesn't keep it rough it will have a smooth silky soft moisturized and just all around feeling your best so my guys tap into fly guy like i was saying you guys it will be a beard care beard maintenance line it also is going to have men's feminine wash which will be for their genitals anything that you need to clean keep yourself clean and fresh that will also be included eventually but like i said it's maintaining the beard maintaining the scruff maintaining that handsome beard to all my men out there white mexican latino the whole planet all men gather along because fly guy essentials is on the way to take care of our men our men are important it could be your father it could be your grandpa it could be your uncle your dad your boyfriend your husband we are caring for our men in 2024 and that is my goal to make sure that men feel secure happy and loved so don't forget to like comment subscribe thank you all so much for watching